Hi guys, my name's Gabrielle. My name's Gabrielle. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Gabrielle. I'm coming with you guys. I'm coming with you guys. I'm coming to you guys with a bit of a different video today. I thought since I'm going to uni in like a couple of weeks and I've been like just gathering so much uni stuff, I thought why not just do like a mini uni haul and update you guys on like how I'm gonna maintain my hair at uni, what I'm going to be doing to it because right now my plan is to just put in protective styles because I don't feel like I'm gonna have the time, energy or just want to do it that much if I'm being totally honest but yeah I have so much stuff that I've been collecting I've literally come back from getting some more stuff today and I thought why not just do a small video like I've always wanted to do a haul on something and yeah I thought why not a perfect time if you see a lot of grey and pink my theme for my room that I'm going for is a pink and grey theme even though that's my theme in my room right now as you can probably tell yeah um, no, I just think I was gonna go for a black and white theme, but then I thought no, let me switch it up and just switch it up Really, my room's already grey and pink. Um, yeah, let me just carry on with this theme. I kind of really like it So yeah, I'm gonna stick with pink and grey. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the stuff That is like quite essential first to like what my, my bedding is and everything like that And then I'll go on to like electronics and whatever and I'll go on to things that I've just bought for They're not really necessities they're just extras then yeah and like other things i plan to take me like books and everything like that so yeah if you're interested carry on watching the video before we get into the video i feel like i do this for every single video that i've recently put out let's talk about this hair situation right now okay so like a couple of days ago i put my hair into it's basically some plaits like mini plaits um I don't really know who asked me to do it in such small plaits. At first when I started, I was like, no, it's going to be okay. But you know when you realise later what are you kind of doing? Who's going to help you take this out? Yeah, I couldn't bother to take it out and go back, start bigger ones. So I just carried on. So right now it's kind of looking like my... Ugh, please excuse the edges. Please excuse the edges and the peps and whatever. I've brushed it out, I've done whatever. But you know what? I told you guys my hair just likes to do its own thing. So, <laughs> ignore that. But, um, yeah, it's just in, like, in mini, mini twist right now. I plan to take it out before I go to uni. Maybe I'll do Marley twist, and I'll probably do a video on that. So stay tuned for that. Let's get into the video. Alright, so I must say that it hasn't actually really been me collecting all of this stuff, except for things today <laughs> and online. It's mostly been my mum just coming back with it, like, every day. Um, but yeah, so because my room, my room, because in my room there is a small double bed, I don't exactly know what a small double is meant to be. Somewhere in between a single and a double probably. I don't know what cover you're meant to get for that, but I've got a double duvet for that. Um, this is from B&M. It was £12. It was £12. If I can find the price and remember the price of these things, I will say. If not, I'll put it like down below. I was contemplating actually getting a single instead. But because I'm going like up north, I feel like I just want to wrap myself like a burrito in the middle of the night because I get cold so easily. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. As well as having a blanket, which is not here right now because I think it's dry. One second. Next. I have a blanket or like a throw to put over my bed in the morning just when I'm extra cold you know when I want to do my work at my desk and I want to wrap it around me like so I want to demonstrate because I just want to and just want to wrap it around myself like this is literally how I do my work like I do my work wrapped up like a burrito because I'm always cold always always even when it's so hot I'll still sleep with the duvet covering my head like I'm hibernating like the video if you do this as well because I know I'm not the only one I didn't actually buy it it's actually my mum's that she was using for her room but she's got a new one I did have a grey blanket it was massive I decided I just want to take this one instead it's slightly smaller still warm Um, I don't actually know how much it it was because she had it before it's just light brown white and yeah it's fluffy I have a pack of two pillows these are massive like ooh, from B&M as well these were $6.99 I also have a pillow protector it's a pack of two this is from B&M also if you could see the mess here right now 
Oh my gosh. Oh, this room right now. And then I've also got a double mattress protector. Um, this was seven pounds. Oh, I'm having to like get off the chair and calm down. It feels like a lot, but it's really not a lot. It's just, it seems like a lot to me. Then I've got my towels. I've got two here. Obviously pink and grey theme, so pink. Oh, it looks really nice up on camera. So pink and grey theme. It just says wash. These were £7 each. I think these might be from Matalan as well. Yep. You see, I don't know where these are from, people. This is a guessing game for you and me both. Then I have my actual bedding. First one is like a star kind of print, obviously. Pink and white. Double, of course. Um, yep, pink and grey and white. Double again. And this is from Matalan as well. I have some stuff that I have on books as well. So, yeah. <laughs> then I've got some face towels. This was from B&M. This was £2.49. Just grey ones. I feel like I may not actually use these. Because I feel like I'm going to end up using, you know, like paper towels from the kitchen. Because it's like less bacterial on my face. But yeah, I'll see if I keep these. Then I've got a fitted sheet. Grey, of course. This one was £9 and I've got another one as well, I've opened this. Basically just the same thing but it's lighter. Um, I'm sure that one was £7. I've got a grey laundry basket. I don't actually know where this is from. I'll probably put it on the screen somewhere when I find out where it's from and how much it was. Yeah, it's just grey and it's just got like um, white handles. Yeah, very nice and big. Oh! Ow! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then from b and I've got a washing like rack. £12.99 this was. It's just orange and white. Yep, so that's that. And then I guess like the last main thing, like big thing for my room right now, as of now, as of, as of what I've got right now, is this light um, lamp thing. Um, I think this was from Ikea. I, I'm not actually sure because my mum had this already. But yeah, it just moves around like that. It's quite bright. And yeah, handy. Moving on to the stuff I bought today. Just quickly popping out. Don't mind it being in a Tesco bag, okay? I plan to go out tomorrow to get some more like notebooks and stuff because I already have some um, in a big box like all with all my books just you know little notepads big notepads that I didn't use from sixth form that I left over I've already got some trays that I use for sixth form as well quite a lot of stuff that's left of, left over from sixth form pens you know all of that so I found like I don't really need to get a lot of that which I'm grateful for so I just got this cute this was from um Poundland a cute little notepad saying I did not wake up like this um, yeah, it's black gold, like a reddish peachy colour. I kind of wanted to go with the theme of my room, but I just like the writing on it, so. And then I got a weekly planner, just for me to be, hopefully, um, encourage me to be more organised. We'll see if this works, because, you know, <laughs> we'll see if I actually stick to this. I plan to be way more organised. I'll keep it to myself. I've been more organised these days. So yeah, hand cream. I should have bought two pairs of this. I just got, it's just a Dove hand cream. Do you know what? I'm always that person in my bag. There's literally just everything. I'm the person that will have everything in my bag. I'm the Mary Poppins of my group. I'll have everything. Ask anybody, I'll pull out, be able to pull out anything. So literally all my hand cream used to always just be finished. So I always just make sure I have a hand cream with me whenever I transfer stuff to different bags. I hate being dry, that's it. So I just have to have hand cream in like every bag of mine. But yeah, that was handy. Moving on to super drug i went into super drug got my e45 cream that i've been out of for ages i use this on my face um i ran out like how many this is probably be this is the empty can that's probably just been sitting there for i don't know how long now i just had to go and get two of them they were on sale i think they were five pound 34 each and they're usually around seven pounds so i got two um of the big tubs um because yeah it just my skin my skin is on and off with listening to me so it'll kind of just do what it wants to do i've been using sheer butter so far it's been all right but i feel like it's breaking up my face in certain areas like one side will get better then the other side will be messed up and then the other side will be messed up and this side will like be better do you know what i'm saying so yeah, E45 just really helps me with that. I have like sensitive plus dry plus combination. It's, it's just it's just a mix of everything. This does me really good. So back on it. Hopefully can fix all you see. Hopefully can fix all of this. Then lastly, I went into boots. I've just got 
some fragrance free cleansing facial wipes i don't know why i feel like the boots brand just really does my skin good any other brand whether it's still sensitive would just mess up my skin for some reason it's just really picky like that so i just stick with boots's um cleansing facial wipes fragrance free i think these are the sensitive ones um yeah and it just seems to do good when i just want to wipe off um whatever makeup i'm wearing or if i'm wearing any makeup or just want to cleanse my face before i go to bed yep these are good oh my gosh i forgot all of the stuff in the box down there you see i've got about how many boxes here so yeah we're gonna move on to that so i've got this pink pillow this is already what i had in my room i don't know where this is from oh i think it's from b and m don't know how much this was though but yeah it's just cute i think it must have been around like i've had this for quite a while six pounds or something i'm guessing this pillow got this pillow from matalan it just says today is cancelled uh yeah just a cute gray pillow for my bed moving on to stuff for the kitchen which i forgot i had because you know who plans to cook no, i'm joking i plan to cook i plan to cook people i've just got like a pack of knives um these were from bnm 5.99 this was from matalan as well this was 18 pounds three piece saucepan set just a big a small then a bigger one handy then i've just got a saucepan a um, spatula this was from bnm it's a handy little saucepan then i've got a can opener this was 99p from bnm just a nice little blue one it's cute in it oh i'm actually doing up exercise just to get down to these boxes yeah then these are from bnm as well just like um ut utensils utensils right yeah no utensils oh my gosh i need to cut that out <laughs> cutlery um yeah just a pack of knives spoons and forks these were 1.99 each and from bnm also which was 6.99 just a pack of bowls which are gray and white then i've just got like a mug for putting like soup in this was 2.99 from bnm cute if you want to have some soup or whatever a pack of free oversized chevron terry tea towels from b&m also i've been back and forth with the brands and i'm so sorry <laughs> and that is pretty much it for that box checking if i've forgotten anything again okay and this is not really well i kind of also wanted to get a kindle for uni like the smallest one just because sometimes i feel like just holding like hard um hardcover books i usually like to do it before i go to bed and i fall asleep with them and my hand starts hurting so i just kind of wanted a kindle because it's lightweight and it's just easy to hold you can hold it in one hand um i think i'm just gonna get some hard books because i plan to read a lot more i've just got a pack there it's probably my the most expensive purchase it's already unboxed because i've had it for like two three days now it's just my macbook because my laptop oh my gosh it sounds like a breathing dragon if i turn it on you'll hear it it's been surviving for like five years i've had that it's done me good but it just breathes like you turn it on i couldn't take that thing to the library because i think we'll just be breathing <laughs> honestly it sounds like i'm exaggerating but that's honestly how, like how it was so yeah so i had to invest because obviously i have to do my editing on it and i always have to do my schoolwork and i can't risk anything being lost and not saved just the macbook air in silver so guys that is it for my mini uni haul for what i have so far for going to uni in a couple of weeks i hope you guys enjoyed and if you liked it please make sure you like and you subscribe and you comment and you follow my socials which will be on screen and in the description box as well and leave a like if you really enjoyed it because that helps me out as well bye and i shall see you next time am i even looking at the right place <sighs> Yeah, you got that teen, I know You got the body, I know You make me sing, I know You make me sing, I know